We are starting off the week with a standing update. Uh, hi, I'm Lizelle Sambry. I'm a very, very, very soon to be published author. My book, Blood Like Magic, about a family of black witches living in a near future Toronto, comes out tomorrow, um, which is wild. <laughs> and so I thought I would document the whole debut week, um, which I think is going to be kind of interesting because for one, where I live right now is in lockdown. So I can't actually like go to a bookstore and visit my book and like sign coffees <laughs> and things like that. Though my friend said that she'll FaceTime me um, going to a bookstore in Toronto um, because they're not in lockdown anymore. And maybe I'll see if I can record that footage if she'll let me just like blur her out. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be, I guess, kind of unconventional, but like conventional COVID wise, maybe. Um, so it's partially like my debut is happening, but at the same time, I'm also like having my regular author life. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting mix. Um, so this week, what I had planned to work on is I started a new adult horror, like as in brand new, not as in like new adult, as in like it's just a new project um, that I'm calling hashtag the newlyweds. Um, and I was going to work on plotting that because I've been slowly plotting it. But actually what happened, my agent just got back to me about uh, Bear Hunt, which I'm fine with saying the title of, um, which is my uh, 20, maybe 2024 book. Um, so I we are working on my proposal. So because uh, Butcher Birds, I'll put my video all about Butcher Birds over here and getting that book deal, it's a two book deal, but my 2024 book is like a standalone that I haven't written yet. Um, and so we're putting together a proposal to get approval from the publisher to basically say, yeah, you can write that for your 2024 book. Um, and I just like have had that ready really early on. Um, I actually got that proposal package ready when I was on submission with Butcher Birds. So I just had it sitting and I contacted my agent and I was like, hey, can I send this to you because I just have it or like when should I send that to you and she was like oh yeah you can send it to me right now apparently we can show it to the publisher whenever um so my agent just just got back to me with comments on that um thankfully she loves it so yay <laughs> um because it's, it's quite dark so I was like uh, I don't know but she really likes it so that's great so I have some comments on that so I'm going to try to just like I'm not going to do any edits I just want to answer all the comments she had because we're going to try and have a phone call about it and so I just kind of want to go through all the things that she mentioned and kind of think about them and noodle on them and I kind of want to do that throughout the week and I know some people are like don't try and do other stuff on your debut week and like we do know if you're on this channel regularly, you know I'm a productivity hoe, you know I can't help it. But I'm not <laughs> gonna try and do any of that today. And I'm certainly not gonna try and do any of that tomorrow. But like Wednesday and Thursday, I don't have anything happening. So I feel like I should be able to do it. So this vlog is also gonna document me working on the proposal for my 2024 um, horror. So that's gonna be happening. It's, it's like a horror thriller. I, can I not do genre blends? Apparently not. So yeah so this week is gonna be all sorts of stuff and then i also have three events happening so i have my launch event um i have my canadian launch event and then i have an instagram live that i'm doing and so it's gonna be that as well so i don't know how this vlog is going to come together it's a little bit different i guess in a way from my regular writing vlogs because like my book is finally coming out i have a book coming out but also i'm in lockdown <laughs> So we'll see how that goes, um, but I'm really excited. Um, very, very excited for my book to come out. It's just like, I've been waiting. <laughs> I wrote the first draft of this book in November, 2017. So this has been like from November, 2017 <laughs> in the making. And I was so excited about it being out tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. My book is
is out. <laughs> so, Blood Like Magic is out right now. I keep like pulling it up, but I have so many copies now. And so I just have so many extra copies. Um, and these I'm like so attached to. I feel like with my arcs, I was like, <laughs> I need to get rid of these. But with the hardcover, I'm like, oh, but maybe I just keep a giant stack. I won't. I will do giveaways at some point. I just can't think of doing them now because I'm like, Bleh, too much is going on. But anyway, um, also let me thing my phone because of my notifications. But the book is out. <laughs> it's so strange because... Uh, my town is in lockdown, so um, I will be going outside today because I also have my COVID, my second shot scheduled today. Again, we'll see if that ends up being a bad decision, but <laughs> I have that. And then I also have to grab my cake, my cake. So I have to go do that. So I will be going outside at some point, um, but like everything is closed, so I can't like go to the bookstore. I've already rehashed this, but that's the kind of strange thing is that I'm aware that it's out, but I'm just like sitting at home, <laughs> which is a little bit strange, but I'm really, I'm so glad that it's out there. It's wild to think about having written this book in 2017 and like so many things so things were like different but also like in some ways the same like I lived where I live now but um I was in a really different spot I was trying to break in to social media and the marketing world um I was you know living in this area for the first time and I was very far away from my family and because you know of having a normal nine to five job I couldn't really pick up and go visit for long periods of time um and I it was really isolating at the time um and this book was like I cre recreated that link to you know my city and it's so funny because last night <laughs> um because I was trying to distract myself. I was like listening to music and I got the Apple News subscription. So I was reading all these magazines and then I just got stuck reading this Toronto Life magazine. <laughs> just like reading copy after copy after copy of Toronto Life, um, which was like fun somehow for me. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of so strange to, because it's, I of course still miss living in Toronto. Um, that hasn't really changed, but I'm no longer miserable here, um, which I definitely was for a time. Um, I definitely had a struggle. Um, and so it's just so wild to think of that time and like how different things are now. Um, you know, writing full time, which I never imagined for myself. <laughs> I've dreamed, but I never imagined being realistic for me um and now my first book is out uh and people are reading it <laughs> people are like talking to me about having read it which is so wild um and i know like when you're you know for traditional publishing or you're pursuing any sort of publishing of course you want people to read your words but like wanting people to read your words and like actually <laughs> interacting with people who have read your words is like very different um and that's sort of wild and like the fact that like anyone could um or at least like the it's out on bookshelves in the u.s and canada um internationally people would have to order it online to get it it wouldn't be available in bookstores because i haven't sold um those rights um so the rights are only in canada and the u.s um if you didn't know like foreign rights like you sell rights in the uk and that's when they'll put it in bookstores so you have to like sell rights in that country for them to be putting it on bookstores bookshelves <laughs> in bookstores, yes. Um, but yeah, like to think of like an indigo where I like, that was, it c continues to be my favorite place, but like as a kid, that was my favorite place to go. And to think of someone walking into like that giant bookstore and just like kind of being able to casually see my book and be like, oh, what's that about? And then just like pick it up and like read the summary and be like, yeah, I'm interested in that. And then let's just like go and buy and read it. <laughs> it's wild to me um and soon very soon my friend is gonna be um going to the bookstore and she's gonna walk through and i'll get to like 
virtually experience that. Um, but yeah, it's a wild thing. Um, and at the same time, I'm also like, I'm excited and I'm happy, but I'm also like, I'm priming myself to not get upset about anything. So I've been telling myself, I'm like, Lazelle, it's okay if people don't like your book. And you know that, right? You know that it's okay if people don't like your book, right? You're aware of that. You know that it's okay even if some people like hate your book and that's fine. <laughs> that's objective opinion and that's okay. And I've been reminding myself of that so that if I accidentally see negative reviews, which I, <laughs> it's so funny cause like the negative negative reviews that I've accidentally seen have been like three stars and four stars. So they're not even negative reviews. They're like good reviews, but they're just like, eh, I didn't like these things. And, or like, this wasn't really for me, but three stars. And I'm like, oh, but it's not really bad. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been coaching myself on that because I'm like, don't make this experience sad for you by getting overly obsessed about those things. Because I have seen sometimes, you know, authors get very obsessed about those things and it kind of, puts a damper on the happiness of their experience and I know books are subjective and I know I've read books where like I just haven't liked it but it's been fine um um so yeah I've told myself that so I feel very prepped um I'm in good spirits I'll t I'll link it in there but uh Jessica Williamson did a reading vlog um I'm not in the comments or anything because I like try and keep myself separate from booktube but she told me she liked the book so then I knew it was safe to watch um and then she'll do a star rating in another video that I won't watch <laughs> um but yeah I watched that in the morning and that was super fun and nice um for me um so yeah I'm having a good day I don't know what to do with myself <laughs> and I'm kind of like do I just like watch a movie or something? Like what do I do with my time? Um, but I am gonna see if I can get a hold of my audiobook. I have to figure that out somehow. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it for now. I guess I'll update you later. Okay, I am prepared. <laughs> It is so nice now. It is very fancy. Well, COVID let them do those repairs. Is the door still super heavy though? Uh, no. Oh, ah, look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> so, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So exciting. So cool. I really want to be sneaky and put it in a file on one of these tables. <laughs> but I won't do that. <sighs> yeah, probably for the best. People do technically to pay to be on those tables. Ah, uh, fair enough. <sighs> Yay! Um, That's exciting. It's so exciting. I just realized, <laughs> I was like, I want to listen to my audiobook, but then... I was like, oh, I don't know what I should even... Anyway, I looked on Scribd just to see if my book was on Scribd, and it totally is on Scribd. And I'm like, I'm going to listen to the audiobook now. I don't want to get copyright infringed for my own book. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to see... I'm just going to play a little bit of the beginning. Okay, okay. Simon & Schuster Audio presents Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambury. Read by Jonice Abbott Pratt. Chapter One. <laughs> There's something about lounging in a bath of blood that makes me want to stay until my fingers shrivel enough to show the outlines of my bones. My toes peek out of the thick ruby. But I'm not gonna play more because I don't want to get copyright infringed on my own book. But anyway, oh, it's so exciting! I'm totally just gonna listen to this all day. <laughs> but. Um, wow, it's so exciting. An audiobook. I was like, <laughs> from the start, I was like, are we going to get an audiobook? Are we going to get an audiobook? And it was like, 
they do them really fast so you may not know until further along and sometimes the audiobook comes after the book comes out but I really wanted the audiobook to come out the same time the book comes out and so I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh anyway and then they said yes we're gonna be doing the audiobook <laughs> And they told us the narrator, this is actually the same narrator that did Legend Born um, by Tracy Dion, which if you watch my channel, you know I'm obsessed with. Also, yes, Tracy did blurb um, Blood Like Magic as well. Um, so yeah, it's like so cool to hear somebody else read. Because um, when I read my book, like my live readings are terrible. So that's why I don't like doing it because I'm so bad at it but like here it's so nice I can't believe it's on script I didn't know it would be on script that's so fun because then I could just listen to my own book um yeah so exciting <laughs> Wednesday. It's in the afternoon sometime. I don't know when. Uh, but it's Wednesday. So yesterday was the day after debut. Um, I woke up and I was like so tired, super tired. And I didn't know if I was so tired because it was debut day the day before or if it was because I got my COVID shot or if it was a combination of both but I was so tired and my arm did it was really sore which I knew was from the COVID shot um so I just like yesterday I took the day completely off um I basically like laid in bed with my dog with Bobo and then we moved to the couch and I watched the entire season of Mayor of Eastwood um, or Eastwood East Town oh my gosh Mayor of East Town on HBO which is like a it's like a small town secrets cop drama sort of thing it stars Kate Winslet um, I really liked it I thought it was so cool I thought the twists were so good um, and I haven't like watched <laughs> like TV shows or anything really properly for a while because I've been so focused on reading. Um, speaking of reading, I also finished The Other Black Girl today. Hold on. I finished The Other Black Girl today uh, by Zakia Dalila Harris. Um, I actually didn't <laughs> have the book. This is the UK cover, by the way, but I actually didn't physically read it. I read it on audiobook um, because that's what I could focus on. But I read it on audiobook. I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. Um, so that was fun. Is that the dog coming? Oh, now you want to come inside. As soon as I hit record, now you want to walk loudly into the room. So I finished reading that today. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, I really liked it. I was like super drawn into it and like kept thinking about it and like wanting to know what was happening next. 
That's my dog walking past because she decided she didn't want to be in the room. Um, so that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, the next book, I want to start uh, Hannah Witten's For the Wolf. I have physically, I want to read that. And then also um, A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. Um, I have that on audio too and I really want to read that because I really wanted to read um, a book with uh, a Spectrum main character. I think she is just ace like a uh, asexual main character and so I thought that would be fun so I have that up and I've heard like great things about it so I'm excited to read it so <laughs> that was a little reading goals insert but yeah so I just did like nothing yesterday um because I was so tired um towards the end of the day I did a little social media post to show off my cake but that was it but today it's back to work day <laughs> back to it's not even really the grind and I honestly worked so little but it's back to work day um because my agent gave me those notes like a kind of list of questions about my proposal for bear hunt which is my potential 2024 uh young adult horror um if it's approved so um I got great notes back from her on that and so we're gonna have a chat on Monday so I just wanted to go through all of the questions and just like put in all of my answers so that I know kind of what we're going to be discussing um, on the call and I actually had a really good brainwave based on something she brought up there's like this big <laughs> is it the crux of the novel not really but there's this whole thing of like a sort of trial or a character being in like a juvenile detention center but it's very serious charges and so originally I'd had the character like in jail and come out of jail but then it was just like it was so fast and so my revelation was what if the trial is still ongoing um and then they were kind of held without bail and that's why they were in the center and now they've been given the option for bail and that's why they're able to come out um so I think that's gonna work a lot better um, I've been my uh boyfriend is a lawyer so I've also been poking him about things but it's also kind of difficult because the Canadian laws are quite different from the US laws and so some things like like in Canada like trying a teen as an adult is not like a, it's not really a thing um, so then there are certain things that kind of have to be explained but anyway that was kind of a technical thing that I had to work out um, and then some other technical things I need to like find a way to make things clearer there's kind of a twist that has like a lot of elements to it and because the twist only happens at a certain point I'm like finding myself trying to rapidly explain something that is like quite a bit larger and quite a bit more complicated and my challenge is that I have a synopsis that I'm submitting to my publisher and the synopsis is three to four pages and I, I don't know if it was supposed to be double spaced but I single spaced it and so <laughs> I'm also trying to pack that in um, and so just like discussing that with her more and then I'm gonna start those edits on the proposal next week um, so I just wanted to get those questions down I thought that would take me longer but I actually already did that today and then I had some interview question stuff to do so I did those today and then tomorrow I'll revise them that's how I've been doing my blog interviews like I answer all the questions on one day and then I wait until the next day and then I go back and I look over all of my answers and I like correct grammar and I like sometimes I change answers and then I'll submit it um, so yeah, that was what I did today. And that honestly didn't take that much time at all. That took like an hour maybe. And then I was like, do I work on the newlyweds now? Or should I just like take a break? And I decided to take a break because even though I was like very like refreshed today and like raring and ready to go, <laughs> I also am like, cognizant of it being my debut week and I'm like let's like try and give yourself time off because I think something 
that's been helpful to me so far in this process has been very good at like guarding my time and just because I have like a technical blank spot in my schedule um, doesn't mean I need to fill it and in fact like giving myself permission to not fill it and to use that time to relax um, is probably why I can be relaxed in the first place so I'm gonna do that I also bought the Sims 4 they were having sales on their packs so I bought um, the snowy escape pack I might buy the eco living pack even though I haven't played The Sims in so long but I want to have all the packs so I might play a little bit right after this. <laughs> Welcome to the end of debut week vlog. Um, things to catch you up on <laughs> because it's been a little bit. Um, today is Sunday and I believe my last update was on Thursday. So on Friday I did my live event with JL who's the author of Wings of Ebony. Um, that was my Canadian launch event and like my I guess m the most formal launch event <laughs> that I had. Um, organized by my Canadian publisher and supported by Toronto Lit Up and the Toronto International Festival of Authors. And that was so wonderful. Um, I had a great time. I was so, so thankful to Jess for moderating and doing such an awesome job moderating. Um, yeah, it was really, really good considering that was like the one thing I was so stressed about. Um, it went really well and I was really happy with that. Are you stretching? Hi. Sorry, I had to pause because my dog just decided to leave. She was like, I'm tired, you're talking too much. Um, yeah, so that was really good. And thank you to everyone who came to that. Thank you to everyone who came to any of the events. Um, and then on Saturday, I did an Instagram live event with Sasha and Serena and Anua, um, who are the authors of Sisters of the Snake. I have all of the links for all these books down below <laughs> um and we talked about like food and foodie stuff and like books and publishing and that was really great um i was really happy to keep it to three events i think that was really good um and yeah and in between uh yeah, during the days I just kind of hung out a lot. <laughs> but Saturday, which was yesterday, um, before I had done the event, uh, I did some writing sprints with some friends. Things have become <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> they're not chaotic, I've organized it, I've figured things out, but for a brief moment it was quite chaotic um, to me internally because as I talked about before, I was working on the proposal for my 2024 book and then my editor notes for the sequel came in and then I had also been kind of working on the newlyweds which is that new brand new adult horror um so I had a lot of things going on and then I kind of had to rebuild my calendar to figure out how I'm going to be doing everything. But what I had wanted to do on Saturday and Sunday, which is today, <laughs> is I wanted to plan out all the chapters for the adult horror so that I could set it aside and that when I went back to it, I would already have all the chapters planned and I would just be writing a synopsis and then starting drafting. So yesterday I did succeed. I planned the chapters for half of the book in, in like very <laughs> specific detail, got half of the book planned. Um, I'm really happy with that. I did that by doing like writing sprints with friends and got a lot done and I was really happy with that. And so today the plan was <laughs> that I would continue and that I would do the other half of the in-depth chapter notes. Um, but like today, has been a weird day, basically hormonally. So I woke up really late. I didn't feel great in general. Um, again, not because of anything in particular, just chemically not. 
the chemical signals between brain and hormones that was like, I'm sad. Uh, so that was kind of how that went. And then I like finally got out of bed at like 11 um, and was feeling all right, feeling better. Um, and so I decided that I needed to look more in depth at the sequel edit notes that I had gotten so that I could check in with my editor on Monday to be like, oh yeah, this deadline will work for me given what I have to do for this or this deadline will not work for me. Um, <laughs> and I looked at the notes and I just don't know what I'm going to do for half of the fixes. I just like couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do and then I like looked at some other things and I just immediately became overwhelmed and sad and I'm like I can't do anything today. <laughs> This is like, this isn't because it was like a bad edit letter. Um, my editor has had many complimentary things to say about the book. It was just, this happens to me all the time with feedback. Um, I just look at it and I don't know how I'm going to fix things. And I get overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do and I don't know what I'm doing. And then I panic and then I just feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. <laughs> And then I get sad. And so this is why usually my process is I read through all of the notes and then I don't do anything because I usually cannot because of this whole process. And because today was already like a weird, sad day to begin with, it just didn't help. <laughs> um, so on that basis, I like had planned to finish the other half of these in-depth chapter notes for the horror but I just like I don't know that I can do that today and like telling myself that maybe I'll do it later will just like make me even more overwhelmed so I've just set that aside and I'm kind of just like you know what in like I think July is when I've scheduled in to like shift all of my focus to working on the horror in July I can spend that time and that's when I can go through and I can do all of that and it's probably for the best because then I can marinate on all my ideas but for now um, my project focus is solely on the sequel which I'm going to start working on next week um, and so today I'm just like not <laughs> gonna do anything um, I think it was already like a little bit of a miracle that yesterday I could get so much work done um, considering that it is still my debut week I don't know this week is like it's like fast but it also has been like so long in that I'm still like oh my gosh is this still the same week um and so I just need to like not do anything today and then I'll I'll just hang out and I'll like watch YouTube and movies and stuff and like find other things to do with my time and like relax because I'm I just know that I'm not going to get that stuff done right now with the way that I'm feeling. Um, so that's on hold. But <laughs> overall, I did have a really good, really positive debut week. I know today is kind of like womp womp womp, but it's just like there's nothing, there's no real reason for that. Well, yeah, there is a reason for that technically. I just told you the reason. <laughs> But the reason for my mood starting off not great, there's no real reason for it. And so I'm not surprised that when I encountered a setback, I immediately became overwhelmed by it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna take today off. Um, I think that's been a really good thing and a really big help this week is like having days where I just like didn't do anything um, because it was helpful to not do anything. And this is the thing I've talked about this before earlier, but like having blank spaces in your calendar and like knowing you can technically fill it, but choosing not to because it helps you preserve your mental health and your energy. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today and maybe also Monday if I need it. Um, but I do still think I'll be able to meet the deadline I've set. I think I just need more time to marinate on how I'm going to fix the things that I need to fix. Um, but yeah, I had a really good debut week. Thank you so much to people that um, came up to the launch events to support me and support the book. People who, you know, pre-ordered copies or asked their library for copies or like, 
did word of mouth things, who like did reviews, especially like those retailer websites like Amazon and Indigo, putting reviews on there does like mean something and it's really helpful. And just like all the support of the book, um, I really appreciate it and I've been really happy about. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's been really positive and I've been working really hard not to think about things like sales and like if it's doing well or things like that. I've been working really hard to put that out of my mind um, because I think it's really easy to get obsessed about those sorts of things and kind of like very easily become down and I, with the way the day has already gone, I really don't need that in my life. Um, but I've had like such a really good positive debut week. Um, I know it's a panorama and things are different but I've still been able to have a really happy positive time and been able to celebrate my book being out and now it's out I could I could technically celebrate it at any time <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be exciting it seems like at the end of next week we're gonna be out of lockdown anyway and I'll be able to go and see my book in stores and um, in July I'll be making a trip to Toronto because now I'm fully vaccinated and I'll get to seated in stores there as well and so I'm really excited about all of that to come and I hope that you enjoyed this debut vlog. It was only a week but I feel like this video is gonna be so long because <laughs> it was a lot of things to chat about and I always chat for too long anyway but hopefully you've enjoyed this um, and yeah I guess my next vlogs will be me working on my sequel um, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I post on Tuesdays usually, sometimes I post the odd Friday video, but all about my journey as a traditionally published author and like sometimes advice stuff about publishing and writing and sometimes just like random videos. So uh, if you're here for that, uh, you can subscribe down below and I hope that you will if you haven't already and that if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and for joining me on debut week. My book is now out. I forgot to mention this and I haven't done a special video for it or anything just because things have been like busy, but on June, 25th it's gonna be my youtube anniversary my youtube i've said that so weird it's gonna be my youtube anniversary um so the week that this is being posted the friday of that week i'll have been on youtube for two years which is really exciting um but yeah thank you so much for joining me bye